What's going on guys? So it is currently Friday evening. Tomorrow is record store day part two. Um yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna be heading off to Chouncid very early tomorrow morning because I want that Biggie Smalls vinyl. I want it bad. So I'm willing to do. I'm willing to wake up extra early to get it. There's a few other things that I'm looking out for as well, but it's mainly the Biggie Smalls vinyl. Dad's got a few records that he wants as well. My record store is doing a system where they let one person in from a online booking thing they, they did, and one person from a queue, and they let one in, one from the queue, one in, one from the queue. I booked a slot at 9 a.m. Not early enough definitely not early enough so what i'm gonna do is go really early and see whether i can get that biggie smalls final so yeah keep your fingers crossed and alexa set an alarm for tomorrow morning at 5 a.m alarm set for 5 a.m tomorrow let's see Every so day! Oh, I know. So, we are at the records shop. As you can see, Intense Records. And uh, yeah, it is quarter past six in the morning, 20 past six. We are far too early because no one else is in the queue. But at least we are first. So, I'm praying that we get that Biggie Smalls vibe. Come on. Welcome back guys. We are back in the bedroom slash the studio. Um, as you can see in the previous clips, today is record store day. Hope you're enjoying the video thus far. If you are, make sure you drop a like down below because it shows the support to the channel and also subscribe if you are new. But yeah, basically this was a success, shall we say. Um, I went to Chouncered like last time. This time I was so determined to get what I wanted that we camped out. Uh, when I say camped out, we arrived there at 6 a.m. Um, me and my friend Jade, we sat down on the chairs, on the, uh, like camping chairs and sat there. The next person didn't show up till half six. So it was a good little tactic. We didn't have to show up that early, but we did get there with good time and um, secured our place at the front of the queue. And of course the record shop didn't open till eight o'clock. So we waited for two hours. Actually funny enough, about quarter to eight, they opened the door, offered us a fresh coffee, which was really kind of them. So shout, shout out Intense Records in Chelmsford. If you're looking for a good record shop in Chelmsford, go and check them out. They were class today. And um, I was the first one in. <laughs> Yes, lads. First one into the building, so that was pretty cool as well. Obviously, I told you they were booking time slots, um, and I think the eight o'clock person didn't show up, maybe, or maybe it was the fact that they were like, "What time did you get here?" And I was like, six a.m." They were like, "Fucking hell, let that guy in first. So that was really cool being the first one in. And so yeah, let me take you through my pickups today and what I got. Let's start at my dad's first two. Blue Savannah, um, I don't even know what this is. I don't know anything about them. Limited edition blue vinyl, so LP. It's got remixes of the song Blue Savannah on, which I mean, again, no idea. It's a cool little 12 inch, but yeah, this is for my dad. And it's like a nice translucent blue. That's a lovely color blue. The second one I got my dad is Eddie Goulding, Lights, the 10 year anniversary edition. Um, this is sick because this is printed on recycled vinyl, number one, and also the 
board that uh, they used to make the packaging is all made out of recycled materials as well, which is sick. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of people should take a leaf out of this book. You know, a lot more vinyls should be made out of sustainable materials. Just black vinyl, nice heavyweight vinyl. Now moving on to my free pickups. So first of all, we have God's Son by Naz. Bang, I saw this on the website. I was like, you know what? It's record store day. Why am I not choosing to get this shit? Why am I not, you know, just picking it up? You know what I mean? I like Naz a lot. I was planning to see him earlier in the year. I think it was in April or May, maybe. I was seeing him with my mate Beck and unfortunately due to the pandemic, the tour got canceled, which I'm gutted about. So yeah, pick this one up. It's blue vinyl, it's like this light blue. As we all know, if you've been around my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love a coloured vinyl. So yeah, that really, uh, a like solid colour vinyl, should I say. So yeah, I was really pleased to get this, really happy to get this. Before I show you my next one, if you are interested in any of the posters in the background of my videos, um, you can check my Depop, it, link is in the description. I have loads of different posters, all of the ones featured behind me. And um, yeah, I sell them for like, a very reasonable price, especially if you live in the UK. Shipping is great, very quick. So yeah, get your posters at my Depop, link is in the description. Okay, so my next two are my most exciting pickups of Record Store Day 2020, any of the drops. These are two that I'm so excited about and I'm actually gonna open them live on camera right now. I've, I've spent all day waiting around not opening these and I'm gonna open them for you literally right now. So drop a like down below if you're pleased to see that. Old Dirty Bastard, 36 Chambers, the dirty version. Look at this little box set, so sick, so sick. I saw it and I was, I was tempted. I was like, mm, that looks really cool. I'll put that on my list and then see what it's like. I got there and it's this little cool little collector's box. I was like, man, I'm gonna have to pick up that shit. That looks so good. And also, rare as well. As you can see on the back here, it is numbered. I've got number 2,991 of 3,000 copies worldwide. So that's really exciting. Um, yeah, let's get this bad boy opened. So yeah, this is a hundred pound guys, hundred pound. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got loads of singles. Wow, oh, that is sick. Nice little magnetic box opening. Open it up. It's got like the brook, a map of Brooklyn. Got his face, the little booklet, a little string thing that you can pull up to get everything out. Wow, this is cool. Wow, that is sick. So as you can see through there, yeah, there's like a picture in the middle there. Yeah, you got the little booklet, it's cool, full of cool pictures, really cool graphics. But yeah, you got like all of them on singles, like with the little, Oh, in the middle, sick. Oh, these are so nice. Look, white one here. This is so good. Yellow one here. They all come in individual sleeves, which is lovely. Another blue one. Then, oh, that is sick. Mate, this thing gets better and better. At the bottom here, we got exclusive stickers, Wu-Tang stickers. Obviously, he's the founding member, so it's pretty sick. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use these, I'm just gonna keep them in the box because I think it's cool to have them as like the collector's items. But yeah, this is what the box looks like without anything in it. You just got a map of Brooklyn Zoo. Um, obviously, yeah, cool little map thing there. Mate, this is sick. This box set is so good. Mate, it's so good, such good quality as well. Yeah, and obviously you can see like the, the cover on there as well, which is sick. Wow. This is amazing, worth a hundred quid. This is like a proper collector's item, so I hope that everyone who wanted this managed to get it. So next up, you would have seen all video. I was coming today, record store day, 2020, September edition. I was coming today for one thing and one thing only. And this was the thing that originally I saw this on the record store day website when I was looking through the releases initially and I was like, that 
is what I want. I want that Biggie Smalls box set. Don't think I thought at the time about how expensive it was going to be. And I, do you know what? I'm going to be totally honest. I just didn't care. I love Biggie Smalls. He's one of my all-time favourite artists. And I, I love vinyl collecting. And as all of you guys would know, when you love vinyl collecting, you know these things are worth it because sometimes it comes to the point and I feel like this is definitely the case where you just can't get them anymore and you just regret. Why did I not buy it when I saw it? So here we go, lads. It was all a dream. Notorious B.I.G. The, yeah, the box set basically, all of his records on vinyl, all on clear vinyl. It's this huge box set, really heavy box set. And oh man, I'm so pleased to own this. One of 2,000 copies worldwide. And I've got one, 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 four, one, four. It's quite, cool. let's open this bad boy. So here we go. Here it is. So good. Wow, look at this. So it comes in this almost like shelfing. Then you got Twas All A Dream here, which is so sick. Um, wow, that is amazing. And then it looks like they're all still in the covers of what they were like when they came out as a vinyl release. So you still have like all the classic LP covers. Um, so here's Ready To Die. Got all the packaging on the inside. Ready To Die is my favorite of his. Yeah, I've already, as you may have may not have seen, I have um, got hit Ready To Die already on vinyl. Um, you can check the video with that out. Pretty sure it's up here. Let's see. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at this vinyl for the first time. And there we go. Clear vinyl, crystal clear vinyl, really nice heavyweight vinyl. Yeah, here we go again, born again. This is not a fold out, but still really nice. You've got some sick artwork on the back there. Life after death, man. As you can see with the casket and everything. Oh, mate, this is sick. Mate, the amount of work I must gone into reproducing this is crazy. And then what I love, what I think is such a sick addition to this box set is the fact they included the Junior Mafia, Mafia album, Conspiracy, on there. So cool that they included this collaboration in there because it basically means that you have, I now have all of his albums on pressed on vinyl. So, yeah, so sick. And there we have like some writing about him on the middle box set, just talking about who he was, all of that stuff. Uh, all the credits for this vinyl package are on the bottom there. So yeah, man, oh, this is sick. This is a great package. So good. I oh, mate, Notorious B.I.G., one of my all time favorite artists. And so to be able to have all of his vinyls, like, in one sick box set, like even if I had them all individually, I'd be gassed. But the fact that this is in such a sick box set, like this is a proper collector's edition item. Like you can see why this would be numbered. This is so good. And mate, I'm literally, I've never been more happy with a vinyl in my life. Like I'm so happy about this. So mate, so good. Thank you very much for watching. What did you get in Record Store Day 2020? Leave your pickups in the description down below, comment section down below. What did you pick up? Did you have a success? Do you have any cool stories about where you went and all of that kind of thing? Um, yeah, if, I'd be really interested to hear. So yeah, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I've got loads more videos coming out, loads more vinyl videos. Um, yeah, stick around for my channel and um, I'm sure you're gonna love it here. So yeah, make sure you hit subscribe. And finally guys, drop a like down below. Let's see what we all get in October. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.